Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Secret of Mana. I'm the Mysterious JG. Still can't get the um, up left, up right to work, but at least I'm using the joypad now. You are hereby banished from Poda's Village. Now get out of here. You're a loser. We don't want you here. Although the joypad doesn't seem to give a crap, it's actually working. I didn't... What, what the hell, game? I didn't mean to go all the way back here. I just wanted to get a little distance from this dangerous rabbi. So the Cannon Travel Center is to the right. So what could be down? Something exciting, I'm sure. New enemies. These plants, I remember. They look uh, innocent enough, but they're dangerous. Water Palace is up. Potus Village is right. Kingdom of Pandora is down. Well, the Water Palace is where we're meant to be going next, and this isn't really a game that does that much to uh, reward exploration. And I do want to get my two party members uh, that join us later in the story as soon as possible, so that whatever fighting we're doing will benefit them as well. So let's actually kind of follow the story. Ooh, the mana tree. No, it's just a regular tree. Danger, beware of goblins. Alright, so I guess we gotta beware of goblins. Despite the fact that I just watched a speedrun of this game, I really don't remember that much about it because they were using uh, glitches in the game to skip quite a lot of content. I was watching the speed run that closely. I was trying to take, I was trying to get my steps and walking around inside my own apartment because it's so freaking hot out. I found it really difficult. Uh, with you know, recently I've been physically not feeling that well uh, for reasons that you may know about already. But um, walking outside in sweltering heat with the mask on, also and surrounded by people who aren't wearing masks, has not been good for my uh, feeling of wanting to go walking around a lot. So I've been walking around inside the apartment listening to like. Let's Plays and crap. But now we're coming to Nico's Palace of Values. Nico's got quite a little uh, setup for himself here. Or herself, I suppose. I don't really know. Need anything? Meow. What you got? Why are you a cat? Really? Yeah, uh huh? What'll it be? Perfectly priceless items available. Oh no, it's Earth a kit. Oh god. Well, already all the equipment we bought is garbage, it looks like. Um, a rabbi cap. Oh, but this is not for uh, the boy. You can see his little head appears for what he can wear. He can't wear a hair ribbon. Come on. He can't wear a rabbi cap. Come on. He can wear a wristband and probably should. So now we got radishes, cure like poison and crap. Barrels, I forget what they do, but they're really expensive. I think they might make you invulnerable for a while. Uh, fairy walnuts are super expensive, they give you MPs. A big part of this speedrun I was seeing was like various tricks where the guy was able to use magic a lot more than we will be able to afford to. Because um, he had like infinite fairy walnuts because of item exploit tricks, and which we will not have. But we will buy a wristband. Okay! So he will not save for us, apparently, but he will, um... Interesting. That's stupid. So am I leveling up the, uh, sword? Can I even tell? Energy orb 1 of 2. I can't tell if I'm leveling up the sword or not. Mana power 0, money... Well, we can at least get our armor equipped. Wristband gives us a grand total of one extra armor, whoopty shit. But at least we've got all of our slots filled now. I suppose we could have checked Nico's Palace of Values here for uh, items, but this isn't really a game that gives you items in uh, places like this so much.
So we continue on this way to the Water Palace. Okay, so you see, this is another frustrating thing about the game. You save up for the big power shot, and then half the time you get knocked out of it. Go oh, well. We need a whip to get to go through the shortcut to the castle of Elini the witch. So your whole army collectively doesn't have the resources to get a whip. That's major dialogue. This mission will be full of danger, but we'll do our best. Major dialogue. All set. All right, let's go. I was hoping I could talk to Dialog himself. What the hell? I guess I screwed that up. My water palace is up. We didn't get to talk to Major Dialog. We can't come here because we don't have a whip, and we don't have a hot chick to use one. Because yes, there is a girl in this game, and yes, pretty much everyone always gives her the whip. If uh, fighting and action games have taught me anything, it's that a whip is a woman's weapon, because if you have a woman using a whip, that's sex appeal, and if you have a man using a whip, it isn't. So you might as well give the whip to the woman. Some of those sex appeals for a uh, subset of your audience, but for that subset of the audience, it's pretty compelling. Some force is holding us back. I think it's called water. I'm really disappointed we didn't get to talk to Dialog, though. Hope we get to meet him later. Man, the water palace is where we're meant to go. Let's go up to her. And here we are. So we'll get filled in on the plot now. Yeah, again, it's fairly young looking. So, now what? Hey, you, where's Luca? She lives on the second floor. Hey, how rude, Luca. It's nice to see you again. Ha ha ha, welcome. What? You mean this girl is 200 years old? I'm not only a girl, I'm 200 years old. Monsters are invading villages. He just fought one. I fought several, actually. I know, the ebb and flow of water brings me news from around the world. I'm basically water chick. Mana's power is growing weak. That's why this boy was able to take the sword. When he did, the balance of mana in this area shifted and monsters revived. There are evil monsters, working to seal away the power of the mana sword. Are there good monsters? Are there ARG real monsters? By defeating those evil monsters, you can restore the sword's mana power. The power is kept in orbs. Looks like it regains some power from the mantis hand. Cool. There must be more hidden orbs which hold mana power for the sword. And you must find someone who can forge the sword to release its stored power. Are you guys going to give me hints on how to do any of this? I mean, what am I paying you guys for? Watch out for the Empire. It seeks to obtain the Mana Fortress. You mean the ones that destroys the world in that fairy tale? The one that destroys the world. That's no fairy tale. That's my wife! I mean, that's no fairy tale. The Empire is trying to awaken it. The Empire is going to unlock the seals from the world's mana seeds. A bunch of strangers have already started snooping around this palace. Something is... Something is very wrong in Pandora. Could the Empire be involved? I don't know, Gemma. See the King of Pandora and tell him to be cautious. Right, I'm on my way. Avatar, you go to the cave called Gaia's Name. Oh, cool. Is it like uh, an Audi? Dwarves live in that cave. They make good weapons, or weapons, and they know all about weapons. 
They may know somebody who can forge and power that suit. As your steward's power and skill level increase, so too will your ability. I'm badass, but... Wow, it's made a really loud fart noise there. Avatar, what are you so scared of? The sword? The fortress. Well, I guess we might as well check out all the exciting dialogue options, eh? Oh, I can even use uh, save states to actually... Hold on, let's... Uh... I know this is silly, but let's... Um... Let's quick see what happens if we go talk to... Um... Dialogue, I kind of forgot about save states. It's been a while since I played a game on an emulator. Instead of... Um... No, I don't want to actually come here yet. Although, actually, let's find out what happens if you talk to this guy before it's time to use him. This is a cannon travel service. Hi, right, we, we, the cannon travel brothers, are building a global network. Going to the Water Palace, Jim's already left. You paid your way, too. Hop in. Oh, thanks. Well, if you want to walk to the Water Palace, I'd west. Oh, you know what? We can probably fast uh, get quickly to Dialux location. Yeah, I didn't realize this guy was actually going to give us a a free uh, ticket. Go get her, just lighted the cannon. You will recognize this from my years old let's play of uh, Psychic and Nintendo 3 with Boba the Vulture. Cannon travel is the safest, most practical way to travel around the world. Obviously. Yeah, we probably land right here. Cool, I can just talk to Dialog immediately. We came from Pandora to fight Lini, the witch in the ha haunted forest. That's major Dialog. This mission will be full of danger, but we'll do our best. We need a whip to go through this road. Okay, so it seems like they talk to you... Like, no matter what order you talk to them in. Well, Dialog looks pretty feminine to me, I'm just saying. Let's go back to where we were, then. We are afraid of the sword. That is THE mana sword, but its power is gone. It used its last ounce of power to summon you. Why me? Why me all the time? Why did it choose me? I don't know, but now you must re-energize it. No problem. What should I do? You must become a hero who is worthy of the sword. Who, me? That's impossible. Eons ago, the ancients used the mana fortress in their final battle. But even they could not control mana. In the end, it was your sword that saved the world. I guess this is now the check talking. Survivors rebuilt the world to honor mana. Really? Not just because they wanted to survive in a world? Avatar, the Empire must not restore the fortress. Okay, I think we've probably hit on dialogue that we get no matter what path we choose in the dialogue. Here to go, the ancient use of mana fortress in their final battle. But even they could not control mana. In the end, it was your sword that saved the world. So I was built the world to honor mana. That is the mana sword, but its power is gone. It's used to... Okay, you get the same dialogue no matter what you choose. Power? Empire. Avatar, the Empire must not restore the fortress. Regain the sword's power first, or all is lost. What should I do? You must become a hero who is worthy of the sword. Okay. Enough. Uh, hold the sword up to the seed. So it doesn't seem like the dialogue really changes that much, but... By touching a seed, we now get all powerful. For a moment, the seed and the sword became one. You have sealed the mana seed with your mana sword. Now the mana power from this seed will be sent only to you and your sword. You will be able to gain power from the mana seed wherever you are. The world has eight palaces. The world has eight palaces! Visit them all and receive the power from all of them, I guess. Take the spear with you. Many mana guardians used it long ago. Received spear. It's basically to say weapon to give to your next party member when you get them, because you probably want to just use a sword. It will grow and regain its power just like your mana sword. There must be more weapons like the spear in the world. Find them. Yeah, I'm sure there are. I could probably go buy a gun, too. Or if you want me to buy the mana gun. I'll restore you. Want to save the game? Sure. First after Gaia's navel, just like Jim has said, look for the underground palace. To reach Gaia's navel, head south to the realm of Pandora. Ooh. I'll restore you. Yeah. Any 
even more power from the seed. It's great. This is so cool. Man, I got a souped up mana sword. It's awesome. I got two orbs worth of power for the sword. If I knew what that meant. Yeah, it's kind of difficult to track your progress progress on leveling up um, weapons sometimes, and just how far you can go. Like, I feel like I now can level up the sword again, but I'm not 100% sure on that. But anyway, I'm definitely supposed to be heading south. I need a whip before I can enter that spooky area where those soldiers went. I could switch to the spear. Matter of fact, I believe there's like some vague uh, boost all of your weapons get by leveling up. Just like having lots of weapons powered up helps you in the final boss battle. I, I remember hearing that in the speedrun I was watching. Help! Ooh! I guess these are plot goblins. We didn't get a warning about goblins. Help! Ouch! You do not move, just stay still. You're very lucky you're going to be our main dish. Well, it's quite an honor, but. Help! Let me go! You look delicious. Shriek. Hey, the dancing has already begun. Let's join in. Oh, cool. The chick is here to save us. Hey! Hey, you! Get into my car! Who, me? Yeah, you! Get into my car! What on earth are you doing, you idiot? Oh, you're gonna be one of those kinds of female characters, huh? Now please help me! Shh, quiet. She's kind of a Bulmoid. Bulma-esque. Let's get out of here! I guess she's kind of moral-esque as well. She pretty is moral. Oh, you my life! What are you doing here? I've been searching for someone. For a second, I thought you were him. In case of mistaken identity, huh? I guess I lose. Now, wait a minute. I'm only joking. Look, I'm in a hurry. I saved your life, so you have to put up with my shit. You better get back to your home. Later! Hey, wait. You left without even telling me her name. And joining my party, because clearly that's going to happen eventually. Danger of weird goblins. I guess we weren't aware of goblins, and it, it got us. Gotta give the game that. Oh, I'm poison. Crap. Poison, um... is an interesting status element. It, it's pretty bad at the beginning of the game, but eventually it doesn't matter at all, because, uh... I think it always just ticks down for the same number of seconds and does one hit point of damage per second. Which means late in the game, when you've got way more hit points, that kind of damage is like nothing. That tree's kind of a pain in the eye. I don't even know if this guy, he might have left a treasure chest for all I know. He probably did. So, I need to be going to Kingdom of Pandora. And generally, just because I'm trying to level up, I, I probably don't want to be shortcutting past uh, places that I can walk through. Especially with this lovely, pleasant music. Major difference between this and a speedrun? I'm fighting enemies. <laughs> I suppose I could be leveling up the spear at this point. Oh. Okay, I didn't actually 
didn't want that, did I? Oh, it looks like the enemies haven't respawned, so that's nice. There are even more goblins! That's why I just brutally murdering a mushroom for no reason. Oh, the treasure, that's why I killed it. I hope that it would leave treasure. Oh, I've got 14 gup! That guy was trying to put me to sleep. Possibly poison me. It wasn't that much. That, like, level 1 super attack wasn't that much better than just a fully charged shot, was it? Heroic battles against flowers continue. Even more treasure awaits. I got 16 gup. I got, like, 30 gup out of those treasure chests. Pretty soon I'm going to be able to afford all that equipment that was presumably for the girl. Try to win the heart of the woman who just literally saved my life by giving her, uh, crap I bought from some cat. Lotus Village, Kingdom of Pandora. Alright. Plot's getting ready to kick into high gear now, folks. The Kingdom of Pandora. This is Pandora. I was told to let you pass through if you arrived. I don't know who you are, though. Sir Gemma, oh, of Tesnica, is in, ca in the castle with our king. Oh, and I wouldn't talk to other people in the town. I, I wouldn't talk to the people in the town. They're scum. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, a customer. Nothing much here, though. Oh, man, I'll be the judge of that. You have nothing much here. Ooh, but I can get by a Kung Fu seat. I'm going to... Oh, I can't equip a Kung Fu suit. That's kind of surprising, actually. Anything else? Yeah. Nice seeing you. It's the sad music is playing. I do not remember why the sad music would be playing at this point in the story. Tut, 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 tut. Grandma has grown the seat out and won't say a thing. It's great. She used to really bother me. Some people are gathering in the ruins south of this town. Odd things must have been happening ever since Grandma goes there. Oh, is she senile, or is she, like, been taken by some evil cult? Like, Scientologists got a hold of her or something? Has she become clear? Don't, don't, don't. don't you ever shut up? <laughs> Interesting. This is Pandora's castle. Doesn't really look like a castle, but okay. Yeah, they have some nice fleshed out uh, character designs for NPCs that don't really do very much. Don't, don't, don't. Don't, don't, don't. This is awful. It's as though they've lost their will to live. It's just because they're not talking. Their lack of chattiness suggests they're evil. Help my mom and papa! Oh. Well, what's happening to mom and papa? Interesting house you guys have here. Well, whatever's happening it is pretty sad when you got like little kids running around in the house and their parents are just like zombies. Master and his daughter at the castle arranging her marriage. The master says you can't stay here. The master and commander? Well, this house does appear to be as big as a castle in this game. Well, we haven't actually been in the castle yet. The castle looks unimpressive from the outside. It could be really awesome inside. I don't really know yet. This is the end. There's probably nothing much happening here. Or 
are you talking to me? I don't know anything. I literally know nothing. I know the Japanese, and sensei Japanese means teacher. If you want to know about anything else, I'm afraid I can't help you. Alright, well this is an exit from town, which goes somewhere presumably, but the story wants us here, so... So late pass through. I don't know why I'm all the way down here now, but well, let's see what's going on south of town before we continue with the story. Oh, she was really cruising. Cause there's a field south of town. With... Oh, that's not ominous at all. Now, that's like a really positive symbol. person will give you a clue as to what's going on. And I believe there's like a way in speedruns to glitch past those guys before you do whatever the plot requires you to do, which is probably talk to the king of the, of, you know, Pandora Kingdom or whatever it's called. Da, da, da. It's Gogo 13 City, folks. We finally found the hometown of Gogo 13 after so much searching. Okay, the castle looks a little bit more impressive once we get, I guess, I guess we, uh, like, walking through that little passage doesn't lead you directly inside. This is a real castle, which is bigger than the entire castle town put together. Dialogue's battle squad went up with, to the witch's castle, but hasn't returned yet. Is it house people and soldiers are turned into zombies? Or just people who don't talk? My life is precious, so this place is dangerous, so I'm... Fair enough. I mean, if this place is really terrible and you don't want to die, then, yeah. Actually, I've also been assigned to the witch hunt. It's a witch hunt, man, a witch hunt, but I didn't want to get hurt, so I pretended to be sick. Don't tell anyone. I'm just randomly telling you, a stranger. I guess I should be angry at that guy. He's leaving, but, I mean, this is when Pandora Kingdom needs him. Where's his patriotism? What was in it for him? I keep forgetting which button is wrong. This is Pandora's castle. The Empire attacked us once about 15 years ago. I wonder if Dialogue is going to be back soon. He promised he'd play with me then. Um, I wouldn't be waiting on Dialogue if I were you, kid. He's going up against, like, evil witch lady. Have you ever seen an enormous tree called the Mana Tree? Well, I haven't. I don't even know why I'm talking about it. Good point. The witch up north must be up to no good. People are acting strange recently. Oh, she's a carpetbagger, one of them northern witches. She's a Yankee. This land is that it has been cursed by a witch. I sense something evil in the ruins of the south. As a small girl, I am gifted with the ability to sense these things. Well, I mean, it is pretty obvious. Sir Elmon arranged his daughter's marriage. I feel sorry for her. They should be upstairs now. Cool. Dad, you're impossible. I'll make my own decisions about my life. No, oh, I actually wasn't expecting the plot to jump ahead at this point. But it does make it a good time to call it a video. And when we come back next time, this girl will make her own decisions about her own life. See you then.